Hello, my awesome Saggies. I missed you, Saggies. I hope you're doing wonderful. Uh, it's time for your reading, Saggies. Happy weekend to you. It's Saturday morning, YM. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend with your loved ones. Saggies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, Sagis, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Sagis. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming up for Sagis in the life? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Sagis in the life? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one wants to show up as extra message. Mm, Sagis, this is you uh, missing your soulmate, but you decided not to reach out to them. Yeah, this is you trying to, uh, this is you having a lot of pride and deciding not to reach out, at least not at this time. Even though you miss your soulmate a lot, you feel strongly that they should be the ones initiating this communication with you. Yeah, this is you having a lot of pride. Even though you want to talk to them, you feel very deeply emotionally about this person, but you decided to hold back on communication, but you're missing them. Yeah, looks like you've been trying to release this person uh, more than once uh, for a while. You've been trying to let them go, release them, but you miss them anyway, and you're trying not to feel this void, this emotional void. Yeah, you're trying to be very strong. Yeah, you're trying to release this person. Yeah, you see? Look at this. Eight of Wands. You haven't heard from them. Yeah, you haven't heard from them and your pride is hurt. And you decided that you're not going to be chasing them. Yeah, because this is reversed. Communication is reversed. Yeah, you've been waiting patiently for this person to communicate with you, to come through with some kind of communication Universe, please show us what's coming up for Sagis in their life and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Wow, you guys have soul contracts. You have past lives. You're going to see each other again in future lifetimes. No matter what transpires in this lifetime between you two, you guys have very extensive soul history together from past lifetimes. Yeah. You miss this person a lot. You love this person still. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Pisces, Virgo. You're not able to completely let them go, release them. Even though you really tried, you're not able to let them go. So you still love this person. Yeah, you see? You've been looking forward uh, to see communication happen between you two. <clears throat> you're silent, quiet. But you are doing a lot of thinking, analyzing, processing information, strategizing, going within, analyzing your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. See, you have better days sometimes where you don't think of them as much. And then you have days where you think of them a lot, miss them a lot. I'm sorry you're going through so much. It's tough. I know. Yeah, this is you feeling like you've done all you could do and that it's their turn to initiate this communication with you. That's how you view this connection at this time. This is you feeling like you've done all you could do. Yeah, this is you trying to figure out your emotions at this time in this situation in particular, your feelings, how you feel about this situation emotionally. Um, yeah. So you are allowing your mind, your sound judgment to take control of this situation. You're not uh, letting your emotions run through you uh, and you're not panicking. You're not 
grabbing that phone in panic trying to reach out to them yeah this is you holding back universe please show us what's coming up for sagis and how is sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah you see this is you we've been waiting patiently to see what this person does yeah you see you want a long-term relationship that's monogamous that's long-standing that's what you're looking for you are concentrating heavily on your business, finances, whatever it is you do for a living, whether you work for yourself. It looks like a lot of you are very successful at your own business. Yeah, uh, you are. Look at this. You are powerful, whether you're male or female. You're showing up here as king of wands with all these pentacles, eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles, two of pentacles. This is you having uh, talent for business. Even if you don't have your own business, you would be very successful at your own business. If you don't have your own business, you work for somebody else. People view you as very, um, wise. They look up to you. They, they see you as very, uh, resourceful, uh, a pro at what you do for a living. Yeah. This is you showing up as shining amongst many, like a star. This is beautiful success, financial, independence success stability profit coming in for you you're trying to distract your mind uh with your job or business uh yeah and you're doing well for yourself with your job or business yeah let's see what's going on with your soulmate the person you're thinking of or watching this video a lot of you are dealing with capricorn universe please show us what What's going on with the soulmate of Sagittarius? And how is the soulmate of Sagittarius towards Sagis at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis? And how is the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? This one is looking at me very strongly as extra message. Wow, they're very emotional towards you, Sagis. This is them feeling deep emotions for you feelings emotions missing you just like you're missing them and they also have it in position two you had five of pentacles in position two and so do they this person is missing you a lot they very emotionally attached to you they know what they feel for you they're not doubting they're not questioning their feelings this person truly is aware how they feel about you you see they view you as someone who is um marriage material this person is missing you so you guys are definitely not together right now yeah you see this person knows that they're gonna have to make final decision yeah and they want to make a fair decision that's best for both of you not just for them this person wants to be fair see they know this is not over they feel this is not over at least emotionally for them they feel it's not over for them emotionally even though the two of you are not together uh, this person knows they're going to have to use their sound judgment, logic, intellect, mind to make that final decision to either completely let you go or come towards you. This person loves you. Uh, there is serious problem with communication between you two. Yeah, communication issues between you two. <sighs> Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis. And how is the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? A lot of you are dealing with Scorpio also. Aries, Leo. They want to see you. They want to reunite with you. Uh, I love Three of Cups. Three of Cups happens to be my favorite Cups card. So this person wishes to, because they miss you a lot, they wish to see you, smooth things over. But they don't know if that's what you want, you see, because you guys are not communicating enough, if at all. They're not sure if that's what you want, what you're thinking, feeling. But they know they want to see you, reunite with you, spend quality time with you, laugh with you, you see, socialize with you, go out with you. I love Three of Cups. Yeah, so they're missing you a lot. They want to uh, put work into this. They want to bring something to you, some kind of uh, solid offer. Wow. This person feels a great need to clear the air with you. When you add these swords, it becomes three of swords, which means this person feels heartbroken over losing you. They feel heartbroken. Yeah, a lot of you are dealing with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I see. 
they feel unbalanced in the situation. They don't know if this is going anywhere or not. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini. Yeah, they're quiet, silent. They're trying to strategize things, analyze, go within, think deeply, uh, use their wisdom. they silent, quiet, but they want to break this silence. Yeah, you see, this person realizes how important you are to them. You see, you guys have soul contracts. It's showing up again. This is, honestly, there's unfinished business between you two in this lifetime. So it looks like you two will get an opportunity to uh, resolve this, to make amends at least with each other. Even if you don't want to be together, uh, at least to make amends with each other. This person is waiting patiently for this communication to happen. They want to put work into this. They're missing you a lot. Yeah. they also concentrating on their job, their, their loved ones. But this person is missing you a lot. But they don't show it. They don't tell it. They don't verbalize it. Yeah. They're missing you. They Because this is reversed, this person is not looking for other people. They're not interested in anybody else. This person is, in fact, very attractive. Uh a lot of people are interested in them, but this person is uh, not concentrating on other people right now because of how they feel about you, you see? Let's see. So you see, uh, there needs to be communication between you two to clear things up. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Sagis and how's the soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time? They want to be brave enough to communicate with you. Yeah. Look how much they're missing you again and again and again. This person is missing you a lot. <coughs> they feel sad. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I think I'm catching a cold. <coughs> um, they want to see you face to face. This also means apologies. Peace offerings, gifts, explanations. They want face-to-face -face communication. They want to see you, yeah, which is actually the best way to communicate to resolve any issues of misunderstanding. Face-to-face -face communication is the only real way to communicate effectively. None of that text messaging, uh, emailing, FaceTiming, no. Face-to-face -face communication is the real way to communicate, you see? This person feels stuck right now. They don't know what to do. You see, this is them not knowing how you feel at this time, whether you miss them or not, whether you want to see them or not, whether you want to talk to them or not. They have so many unanswered questions. They're trying to figure out how to approach you because they need to see you. They feel a great need to see you. They feel like something is unresolved, unfinished between the two of you. Yeah, you see, there was a breakup, definite breakup. I just looked on the bottom of the deck. So there was definite breakup between you two. This person loves you a lot. You two love each other, but because the cups are empty, no liquid is in them. It shows that this was very turbulent breakup emotionally on both sides, both of you were deeply affected emotionally by this breakup and still are, by the way. Yeah. Sagis, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know. They'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Sagis, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.